guys. It's me. So, the question people ask are, are, sur are survey offers legit? Now to, to answer your question, you go into paint. This is your device. Let's say it's a uh, an iPhone. All right. This is your device. Offline game. In an offline game, you can do whatever you want with it. When it comes to hacking. But then, there are online games. In online games are processed on someone else's computer. They usually run on servers. So, they have a lot of slots like data, DVDs, HD, hard drives, drivers. And stuff like this. See? That's... See? That's a server. Your device right here... When it comes to an offline game, connects to here. This is an EDU website. Oh, I mean, because of the... It got taken down for some reason. Never give them a tell. Generated fake people generating fake stuff. Oh, unban account, sure. See, this is just a movie that's playing. And I highly doubt this user exists. <laughs> Oh. 
Hop. Fake chat room. Yeah. It's a fake chat room with fake reviews. Scammers just use spam bots. Ah, that's copyrighted music on my phone. Don't want YouTube to think that I'm copying anyone. A server. In computing, a server is a piece of computer hardware or software computer program that pro provides functionality for other programs or devices called clients. This architecture is called the client-server model, which is basically saying that it's something that stores data on another person's computer. Servers can provide various functionalities, often called services, such as sharing data or resources among multiple clients or performing computation for a client. Single server can serve multiple clients and a single client can use multiple servers. See? See that's see that's a that's the that's a diagram. Of course, connecting to someone else's computer, so you of course need internet. Servers can provide various functionalities, often called services, such as sharing data or resources among multiple clients, or performing computation for a client. A single server can serve multiple clients and a single client can use multiple servers. I don't know why I'm rereading that. A client process may run on the same device or may connect over a network to a server on a different device. Which basically means any online activity done on the client will go over to the server, which a server is like stored way in someone's basement or connected to a computer far, far away, like overseas far, far away. A client process may run on the same device or may connect over a network to a server on a different device. Typical servers are database servers, file servers, mail servers, print servers, web servers, game servers, and application servers. Client server systems are today most frequently implemented by and often in identified with the request response model. A client 
sends a request to the server which performs some action and sends a response back to the client, typical with a result of or acknowledgement designating a computer as a cl as server class hardware implies that it is specialized for running servers on it. This often implies that it is more powerful and reliable than standard personal computers, but alternatively, large computing clusters may be composed of many relatively simple replaceable server components. It gives you history and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So basically, it's a... It's a storage device that is stored from millions and millions of miles away. Unless you live close to that person's one, but even then it's often password protected. You can oh, I shouldn't have closed that out. If you want real online hacks, go to your local Google and search HackerBot. HackerBot.net. Where you find cheats, hacks, down, downloadable software that it has it has a search engine which only searches um, amongst legitimate websites now these legitimate websites will not offer You any free gems, health points, god modes, or so on. And there was such a thing in less than a day. People would find out about it and use it and then the developers will be and then once the developers go to the monitor to the website the next hour they're gonna be like oh someone has these unlimited amount of of money What will they do then? They would shut down the game, roll back everything, and, and three to four hours later, the whole thing would be patched. So yeah. This search engine, well, let's say Roblox 2021.
might want. Might want to put in the gear. I don't know how it works for con how hack game hacking works for consoles. But there. Do note that legit game developers will will patch any type of exploits and exploits and stuff. Exploits, that's not even a word. I just use your common sense. Just So yeah. And to these scammers, I say them. The more you try to scam people and to giving you money for a non-working hack the more I will be making videos on you guys exposing you videos exposing you guys so no one else falls for it so yeah hope Hope this video helped you learn the difference between reality and a pipe dream. Yeah, because that's what money hacks in online games are. Just pipe dreams. That people just dream of and the pipe dream that will never happen. Pipe dream is an unattainable or fanciful hope or plan. Which means it's just never going to happen. So you're just going to have to let it go. Well, good luck in making your pipe dream come true. It's not going to happen. Because you don't control the servers. The game companies themselves control the servers. Not you. So the only way to get in-game currency is to turn it through gameplay. Or sp spend a lot of cash on it. So yeah. Bye.